down on the shoreline live the most extraordinary of the island's many strange inhabitants. Marine iguanas, the only saltwater lizards in the world. They eat algae, seaweed, growing on rocks between the tides, so they have to wait for the water to go down before they can feed. They live only on shores exposed to cold currents, but the arrival of the cold water is a double-edged sword. Its nutrients stimulate the growth of the algae they eat, but because the lizards are cold-blooded, the cold water slows them down and could even kill them. The best algae grow close to the low tide mark, so it's a race to eat all they can before the rocks are covered again and their bodies are chilled to danger point. Strong claws and a good grip are essential if you're not to be swept away. For most iguanas, life is ruled by the tides, but the big males have another option. Below the low tide mark, the growths of algae are more luxuriant because the rocks are always covered. The males use the heat of the tropical sun to exploit them. They expose the greatest possible surface to its warming rays, because their bodies are larger, they can store more heat and don't chill down so quickly. When they've warmed to an optimum 35 degrees, they take to the water. Down here, they can take advantage of a food supply that's out of reach for the smaller iguanas. They can hold their breath for 20 minutes or more, but they have to feed fast. Every minute they spend here, the heat is draining from their body. If their temperature falls too low, they'll be unable to move and they'll die. It's time to go. 